Hey there. <laughs> I'm sitting at the Corridor Cafe on Van Ness and Fell in San Francisco. And I ordered myself, I think, a meat lasagna because I'm freaking starving. And I think I might try a sangria for lunch. So, okay, this is Sunday and um, I'm done feature dancing in San Francisco. So today was like my fun day. And I spent the whole morning and afternoon out and around San Francisco. So that's pretty cool, right? Um, the first thing I did was go rock climbing. And I think I posted a couple pictures and, and even a video on Instagram. It was tons of fun. I um, climbed even with my nails. Oh my gosh. They're, it's so hard to rock climb with, um, with fake nails. But I do it anyway because I love to do it. And so I did that this morning. And uh, there were some pretty cool people there. And I kind of hung out with them a little while and did some top rope climbing and did some bouldering. It's one of my favorite things to do. Then I, um, okay, so the place that I went was called Planet Granite. That was the rock climbing place. And it's right next to the Golden Gate Bridge. Like you can see the water from, from the rock climbing place. And so literally when I was done climbing, I walked outside and just walked up toward the Golden Gate Bridge. And then I was a tourist and I went all the way up as far as I could and I got some pictures taken. And then I went up a little further so that I could get pictures like in front of um, the Golden Gate Bridge and on the side of Golden Gate Bridge. And I went to like the Welcome Center area where there were tons and tons of tour buses and lots and lots of tourists everywhere. And then you could kind of like um, climb up these cool ladders that were, that would take you to the tops of these concrete structures. I think it's part of the old fort. Anyway, got a couple pictures up there too. Um, it's really freaking windy here, so I'm so glad I brought a coat because I was chilly and I wasn't even like, and I'm in pants and everything. So, so yeah, it was it was cold, but I had a blast. I had a blast. So I was a tourist. I took pictures, the Golden Gate Bridge. I did everything, and then I was like, you know what? I'm freaking hungry. Um, my hotel's on Market Street, so. I decided to just kind of look up the corridor of Market Street and see what was there. And I wanted to sit by the water, by the pier, um, but all of the restaurants on Market Street right by the pier are like, they look like five-star restaurant, really fancy, expensive type places, and I'm all by myself. And I don't need anything fancy like that. I just wanted a place for some lunch. So I started just kind of looking up and down Market Street, and I found this place called the Corridor Cafe. So that's where I am. And it's actually kind of a little, it's a cool little place. It's like, it's kind of, I don't know, it doesn't look ritzy. I guess it looks ritzy and upscale. It's, it makes me feel like, um, like I'm eating someplace nice. And there's big windows, I'm sitting right by the big windows so that I can look out and people watch. Okay, is that weird that I people watch? I love to people watch. And oh my gosh, San Francisco has a wide array of people to watch. So, there's the people that walk down the street and they're like kind of talking to themselves. There's like the thugs that go down the street and you're like, I'm a little scared if I if I start walking down your direction. And then there's like, it looks like the locals that they're just like, ho-hum, I know where I'm going kind of thing. And then on Market Street, there's lots of people with their phones out, like um, my phone's telling me where to go, so I must be a tourist. <laughs> it's really fun to just see the kinds of people that are around, so. And everybody's on a bike, you know, there's tons and tons of bikes. I've, I've never seen so many bikes ever, like in New York City there weren't, and that's a big city place. Um, but it seems like everybody has them here, so that's pretty cool. And I'll probably get a nice drink here if somebody comes, I don't know if they'll come talk to me since I'm on a video. But if they do, I think I'm going to order a sangria. A rosé sangria, I think is what it was. What was it called? Rosé sangria. Because that's like a wine, a rosé wine, so it's going to be kind of sweet. And then they put berries and stuff like that in it to make it even sweeter, and it's kind of fun to look at. So, I'll get something like that. But yeah, I like this place. And I think it's only two or three blocks from my hotel, so when I'm all said and done, then I'll be able to walk down the street and um, find my way back to my hotel. 
So all in all, a pretty good trip to San Francisco. So when I go to places, I try to visit um, and do a little bit of sightseeing everywhere I go because you might never get back there. I mean, maybe I'll never feature dance in San Francisco again. I mean, there's so many places you can get contracted to go to that it's possible next year. They, they usually try to fill up a girl, or at least what happened for me, is they usually try to fill up my feature dance schedule for the entire year, like in January. So I'll have one, I can do two if I want, but it's sometimes two is a lot. I'll do one a month all year long. And so you only have 12 spots you can go. Well, there's hundreds of places you can go dance. So it's really just which ones pick you first or want you first or can pay the, pay the fee or whatever it might be. Um, so it's, it's really luck of the draw. Um, I can't wait. My next one that I'm going to is going to be, um, let's see, it's September now, October. I don't think I have any in October. So November, I'm going to Walcott, Connecticut. So Connecticut should be really fun. I've never been. Um, and then December, I'm going to North Carolina. And I've lived in North Carolina before, so it's kind of, I, I'm excited to do that one. Be, not, that I'm, not that I'm dancing anywhere where I lived, but um, I just like the area. It was really, I, I don't know where Jacksonville, North Carolina is. Like, I don't know if it's on the ocean side. Oh my gosh, my hair is a big old mess. I don't know if it's on the ocean side or if it's on the mountain side. So I guess I'll have to Google it and find out. But if you're on the mountain side, then you can go to places like, um, oh my gosh, the mountains there are awesome. I used to rock climb. I rock climbed in the mountains there once or twice. Um, and if it's by the ocean, well, it'll be, it'll be December. I won't be able to do anything by the ocean anyway. It'll be cold. But, um, that's right before Christmas. And then January, I'm going to Mobile, Alabama. And then that's all I have scheduled. So the rest of the year will probably get planned out in January. But that's okay. Like, it's always fun to have a lot of stuff going on. So, hey, if you're going to travel somewhere, I always say try to make the most of it and do something fun with it. So I'm traveling, and I'm going to go see the city. And when I get to wherever I'm going next, I'm going to see the city some more. And that's it. I like it here. It's cool. You can see them cooking your food right there. And then out the window, you can see down the street. So you can see both. And it's nice. All right, that's it for me. I don't have anything else to say except I'm hungry and my stomach's gonna go growling if I don't get food soon. So I know it's gonna show up in just a couple minutes and I'll get myself a sandwich. And take care and we'll talk to you later. I might get on Periscope. Check my, check to see what you guys are doing today. Okay, take care, bye.